Welcome to this Swage Lock How To video. Here's what you'll need to bend tubing using a Swage Lock hand tube bender. A hand tube bender corresponding to the tubing size, a piece of tubing, a marker, a protractor is optional. A Swage Lock hand tube bender can be used to make consistent high quality bends and tubing made from most materials. The hand tube bender bends 1 8 1 quarter, 5 16 3 8 and half inch and 3, 6, 8, 10 and 12 millimeter outside diameter tubing in a variety of wall thicknesses. The wall thickness requirements for 1 quarter inch stainless steel tubing to be bent using the hand tube bender are a minimum of 0.028 inches or 0.71 millimeters and a maximum of 0.065 inches or 1.65 millimeters for a hand tube bender with a bend radius of 9 16 inches. The tubing must be fully annealed, high quality seamless or welded and drawn, meeting ASTM A269 or A213 or the equivalent, with a hardness of 90 HRB or 200 HV. This hand tube bender can be used to form single, offset and other bends. We will go through the procedure to make a 90 degree bend 4 inches from the end of the tube, followed by a 180 degree bend with 4 inches between bends. For the 90 degree bend, first place a reference mark at the end of the tube from which you are beginning the measurements. Measure 4 inches from the reference mark and make a bend mark to indicate the first desired bend length. Swing the short handle up so it is above the bender die. Open the tube latch. Place the tube in the groove of the bender die with the reference mark to the left of the tube latch. Close the tube latch over the tube. This restricts movement of the tube but still allows for additional alignment. Carefully lower the short handle until the roll dies rest gently on the tube while keeping the link straight and parallel to the long handle. Note that premature bending may occur if the link is not straight and parallel to the long handle. Align the zero on the roll support with the zero on the nameplate, with the reference end of the tube to the left of the latch. Align the bend mark with the mark on the roll support that corresponds to the bend angle. L corresponds to 90 degrees. Slowly push the short handle down until the zero on the roll support reaches the 90 degree mark on the nameplate. Note that the tubing will spring back slightly after the bend has been completed. To adjust for spring back, lift the bender handle and repeat the alignment of the tubing with the roll support. Then measure the bend with the bender scale and bend an additional two or three degrees as needed. After completing the bend, swing the short handle up and away from the tube. Pull the tube latch off the tube and remove the tube from the bender group. Verify the bend angle using a protractor, template, or against a known angle to ensure the desired bend angle has been achieved. Now for the 180 degree bend. Make a second bend mark 4 inches from the vertex of the 90 degree bend away from the reference mark. Place a directional mark over the bend mark to indicate the outside or heel of the 180 degree bend. This will help ensure the bend is made in the intended direction. Place the tube in the groove of the bender die with the reference mark to the left of the tube latch. Close the tube latch over the tube this restricts movement of the tube, but still allows for additional alignment. Carefully lower the short handle until the roll dies rest gently on the tube, while keeping the link straight and parallel to the long handle. Note that premature bending may occur if the link is not straight and parallel to the long handle. Align the zero on the roll support with the zero on the nameplate, with the reference end of the tube to the left of the latch. Align the bend mark with the mark on the roll support that corresponds to the bend angle. L corresponds to 90 degrees. Slowly push the short handle down until the zero on the roll support reaches approximately 90 degrees on the nameplate. Loosen the short handle from the clevis until the short handle will swing without moving the roll support. Swing the short handle up until it is slightly above perpendicular to the long handle. Retighten the short handle. This will provide continuous right angle leverage for the rest of the bend. Continue the bend until the zero on the roll support reaches the 180 degree mark on the nameplate. 
After completing the bend, swing the short handle away, pausing when the zero on the roll support reaches approximately 90 degrees. Loosen the short handle. Move it until parallel with the long handle, then retighten the short handle. Move the short handle up and away from the tube. Pull the tube latch off the tube and remove the tube away from the bender groove. Verify the bend angle using a template or against a known angle to ensure the desired bend angle has been achieved. Refer to swagelock.com and the product literature for additional information. Thank you for watching. We will continue to develop videos like this to help you get the job done. Get more information by watching our other videos or by contacting your authorized Swagelock Sales and Service Center.